Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome to lesson 10, Creating Tables and Data Definition Language DDL Part 1. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to categorize the main database objects, review table structure, list the data types that are available for columns, and create a simple table. Up until now, you have learned on how to select, update, insert, and delete information in existing tables of a database. As a database administrator, DBA, you will be expected to know how to create tables as well. In this lesson, you will learn which database objects are most frequently used, how to look at the table structure, and how to create new tables. The database stores the definitions of all database objects in the data dictionary and these definitions are accessible to all users of the database as well as to database itself. Some of the object types take up space, known as storage, in the database and others do not. These are all the database schema object which we have a table, view, sequence, index and synonym. Table is a basic unit of storage composed of rows. View is a logically represents subsets of data from one or more tables and sequence is to generate numeric values. And for index, it improves the performance of some queries and synonym give alternative name to an object. Database objects taking up significant storage space known as segment. Tables and indexes are examples of segments as the values stored in the columns of each row take up significant physical disk space. View constraints, sequences and synonyms are also objects but the only space they require in the database is in the definition of the object. None of them have any data rows associated with them. The database uses the data dictionary for all statements you issue, even if you list the column name instead of using asterisk. It checks that the tables you are referencing in your statement exist in the database. It checks that the column names are correct. It checks if you have the correct privileges to perform the action you are requesting. And finally, it uses the data dictionary to decide the execution plan, which how it will actually perform the request. All data in relational database is stored in tables. When creating a new table, use the following rules for table names and column names. The first one is, it must begin with a letter. And it must be 1 to 30 characters long. It must contain only A to Z capital letter, A to Z small letter, 0 to 9, underscore, dollar sign and hash. It must not duplicate the name of another object owned by the same user. And it must not be an Oracle Server reserve word. To create objects, you must have create table privilege and a storage area. This is the syntax on how to create the table. You need to specify table name, column name, column data type and column size. Default expression specifies a default value if it's omitted in the insert statement. These are the data types that you can use while creating the table. We can have FACHA2, Variable Length Character Data, CHAR, Fixed Length Character Data, Number, Variable Length Numeric Data, Date, Date and Time Values, Long, Variable Length Character Data up to 2 gig, CLOP, Character Data, Raw and Long Raw, Raw Binary Data, BLOB for Binary Data, B file, binary data stored in an external file, and row ID, a base64 number system representing the unique address of a row in its table. If we use date data type, we can have the timestamp, the year, month, day, uh, hour, minute, up until second. So now let's take a look on how to create a simple table. Let's create table staff with staff ID, staff name, high date and salary columns. Okay, so the first one we try to create. Oops, sorry. Create table. Okay, the syntax is create table. What's table name? Staff. Then we open the parenthesis. Okay, the first column is staff ID. Staff ID should be a number. Okay, what is the size? Maybe we put as 10. So if you want to go to the next column, put comma. Second column is staff name. Ok, 
okay staff name is Pacha 2 and the size may be 30 okay then if you have to go to the next column press uh, call, uh, please put comma then go to higher date higher date should be a date data type okay date data type has no size okay and the last one we have salary salary should be number maybe the size is 10 okay so after we have finished no need to put comma we close this parenthesis okay we close this parenthesis okay so if we click execute here they say that table stuff is created okay so let's refresh our table here then we will see table stuff has been created we have staff id staff name high date and salary so these are the data type and the size that we have specified just now if you take a look there's no data yet okay so based on this table this is a table without a constraint okay this is we create a table without any constraint in our data here if we click plus over here we can create uh, or we can insert a row for example 101 higher date so if you take a look here on uh, on the higher date here we can click the pencil over here and choose any dates that we want for example i choose this date okay then salary is maybe we put as 3000 okay so if you want to go to the next column we can click plus over here if you have to commit then we click the uh, right button over here okay commit so commit successful means the data is inserted into the database but if we if i put another 101 abu okay and how about the high date so let's choose the high date maybe you want in july oops 20 17 for example okay and the salary is 5000 so if we hit commit here it can be accepted why because of in our table here there's no constraint yet okay there's no primary key there's no uh, foreign key and so forth okay so since we don't have a constraint the duplicated data can be inserted into our database so that's why constraint is very important after this we will learn on how to insert constraint while creating the table okay so now let's take a look on how to create a default value okay how to create a default value so let's drop this table first okay so table drop okay so the table stuff has been dropped okay so now we have this table stuff what if i insert the default value higher date date then i put default sys date what does it mean okay for uh, for salary default default five uh, four thousand okay so if i execute this one they say that table stuff has been created Okay, so since table stuff has been created, let's uh, refresh again. We will see stuff table just now. Okay, so there's no data yet. So let's uh, insert the data. 101, stuff name is Hamis. Okay, so if I insert null values to higher date, null values to salary, what will happen? It will take the default value. Let's uh, commit. Take a look, the default value is 30th May because today is 30th May. Okay, and the salary is 4,000. Okay, take a look at the salary 4000 why the default is 4000 but if you want to insert other than this value there's no problem for example abu then the higher date let's say i choose 4th may okay then the salary is 2000 okay so if i commit okay it will take the value that we have inserted into database okay that we that we have specified okay but if if you don't specify the value it will take the default value uh, that we have defined in our table creation so that's all for now see you again in the next part thank you